This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Christopher Intagliata. Songbirds produce a rich repertoire of sounds. Songs, of course, but also chatter calls, flight calls, and alarm calls, like this high-pitched warning from a black-capped chickadee. But chickadees aren't the only ones endowed with chirping abilities. Turns out a certain type of caterpillar can too. Once again, here's the bird and then the caterpillar. Sounds pretty darn similar. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Jessica Lindsay is a biologist at the University of Washington. She says this species, the North American walnut sphinx caterpillar, makes the sound using tiny pairs of breathing holes called spiracles. They compress themselves lengthwise like an accordion, and so that compression pushes air out of that spiracle, um, making whistling sounds. A cool coincidence for sure. But here's where it gets interesting. Lindsay then played the caterpillar whistle through a speaker near a bird feeder. And the birds, of many different species, ducked for cover. Sometimes we would see little nut hatches flicking their wings, and that's a big signal of distress for them. And sometimes it would take a really long time to return to feeding, which is a big indicator that they were taking that whistling noise pretty seriously. And whereas the birds were unperturbed by the song of a house finch, the control sound, They responded to the caterpillar whistles with almost the same urgency as when they heard that real alarm call from a chickadee, suggesting the caterpillars are onto something. So they're basically using bird speak to say that there is a dangerous predator in the area and that the birds better get into cover. Lindsay presented the results at the International Symposium on Acoustic Communication by Animals in Omaha. Previous work suggests the caterpillars whistle when pecked at by birds, and they sometimes squeal too suggesting they may have more than one scare tactic to worm their way out of trouble. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American's 60 Second Science, I'm Christopher Intagliata.